This is what Lynn wrote to us. I am in pain every day. I eat with my pain pills throughout the day, even in the night, to ensure no upset stomach. I am also a stress eater. I cannot exercise when I'm in pain. Exercise is what makes it possible for me to lose weight. When I try to eat small enough for a sedentary life, I am starving. Starving makes me retain weight. When I eat to satisfaction, I gain. How can I lose weight? Lynn, first of all, I want to tell you, uh, thank you for reaching out to us. And I just want to tell you how sorry I am that you have to live with constant pain. Uh, you know, my heart goes out to you. I can only imagine how difficult this makes everything, including losing weight. But here's the good news, Lynn. There is a way that you can eat that will, you, that will allow you to eat a full plate of food and still lose weight even if you can't exercise. And so I want to tell you and show you how to do this in this short video. You know, Lynn, it's natural to think that when you want to decrease your calories, you want to eat less food. You want to decrease your portions. I mean, that's the thinking that we have had for decades when it comes to weight loss. Decrease your calories, do that by eating smaller portions of food. But as you so aptly said, you feel starving all the time, and I can imagine that you feel deprived as well. And, and in fact, research shows that if you eat too few calories, your body actually thinks you are starving. You don't have access to adequate food. So it isn't going to let go of your fat stores in order to preserve your life. So the solution, Lynn, is not to eat less food, but to focus on eating more slimming foods. So you, it's not about eating less food, it's about changing the kind of food you eat. So what are slimming foods? That's the important question that, that we want to answer. And you know, slimming foods are whole unprocessed fiber foods. Another way to, to call them, uh, to put that all together is natural fiber rich foods. And there are four main categories of these foods, fruits, vegetables, beans and legumes, things like chickpeas, black-eyed peas, pinto beans. And then the fourth category um, is whole grains. But these are cooked whole grains, whole grains that you have to cook in water before you eat them. So that would be things like brown rice and quinoa, uh, oatmeal, steel-cut oats. So all of these natural fiber-rich foods not only have fiber, naturally, nobody put it there, but they also have a lot of water. Fiber and water don't have any calories. So that makes these foods naturally lower calorie foods. So when you fill your plate with them, you're taking in less calories without even having to think about it, without having to count calories. So you're actually getting to eat more um, to lose weight instead of less. And it's the water and fiber in these foods that fill you up when you eat them. So when you fill your plate with these natural fiber-rich foods, you're going to feel full and stay full longer. So you're not going to experience the starvation that you did in the past and all those feelings of hunger and deprivation. So Lynn, it, you just get started uh, eating these foods by adding some, a fiber food to each meal. So, for example, you could have a piece of fruit with your breakfast. You could add some beans to a salad at lunch. And by the way, pick your favorite fruit, whatever, whatever's in season, what you like. The same with the beans, pick the beans you like. And then in the evening, you could add a, a nice uh, portion of vegetables to your dinner. And it could be any kind of vegetables. The vegetables you like, it could be a combination. They could be fresh, they could be frozen. They could be steamed, grilled, roasted. What, what, what's your favorite way of enjoying the vegetables? And so you're gonna just start doing this step by step, adding more of these fiber foods to each meal, day by day. Now the goal for weight loss is to fill 75% of your plate 
with some combination of these natural fiber rich foods. And here's a plate that illustrates this. You'll see that 75% of this plate is green. And that's your goal, to fill 75% of your plate at every meal with some combination of these whole unprocessed fiber foods. And then what goes in the remaining 25% of the plate, illustrated by the blue here? Everything else. Um, so, a couple other tips that help with weight loss is to eliminate, Lynn, all the liquid calories. Anything that you're drinking that has uh, calories to it, that's gonna sabotage your weight loss. You can drink hundreds of calories a day and not even uh, recognize it, nor will your appetite um, recognize it either. So it's gonna make it harder for you to lose weight. So water is your best option. Lots of water between meals throughout the day. And secondly, uh, Lynn, eliminate snacks. Most of the time when people eat snacks, they're not hungry. Every time you eat, when you're not hungry, you're taking in food your body doesn't need, and it's gonna to have to store that, those calories as fat, which is not gonna help with weight loss. Uh, so here's the great thing about eating lots of fiber foods. Uh, when you do that, when you get to the place where you're filling 75% of your plate with these fiber foods, you will not be hungry between meals. If you're not hungry between meals, no need to snack. So Lynn, don't give up uh, hope. You can, you can do this. It's gonna take time. You have to work at it slowly, day by day, adding these fiber foods and getting to the place where 75% of your plate is some combination of these fiber foods. And when you do that, day by day, meal by meal, day by day, Lynn, you will be able to lose weight You'll feel satisfied at every meal, even if you can't exercise.